went a little further, got the lips in, still haven't worked on the eyes yet, and got this little section on the face left, and pretty much other than the color of the eyes, the face will be complete with minor additions, eyebrows, eyelashes, but that's something I work on. But I just want to come give you an update on what I got so far. And I got the body section already there. No outline for it yet. Well, I got an outline. Uh, no no uh, color in it. But that's something I would go back and work towards the end. Not a big deal now. But uh, with this vector mesh vector I've been skipping all over the place I don't usually work like this but I had a couple areas that would gave me a bit of challenge so I just stepped away from them and worked on some other sections until I had to just figure out mentally how I want to approach them but it, that's part of what I what 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 you will be doing creating mesh you will have to do a lot of thinking because the process isn't straightforward, so a lot of what you do, you will have to put thought into it and make a decision. So that's what I had to do here. So I uh, hope you hope you're getting something out of this. I'm gonna zoom out a bit so you can see what I have. Yeah, that's what I have so far. No, it looks kind of evil with the with the color and the eyes not there, but we'll get it going. Just wanted to sh just wanted to show uh, the finished product for the eyes. I mean, it is what it is. Some of you might not like the way I do it, but I went ahead and used the eyes from that last section that I worked on, and this is how they turned out. I go closer, but that's how they turned out. Here's the eye mesh, and this is a separate, just solid shape. And these are just solid shapes, just the light reflection, whatever the light source is, you know, it shows up in the eyeball. But I just use squares because that's the shape that's there. And when you zoom out with squares, as you see there, looking at it zoomed out, don't look like squares because I got the transparency on each one at a different setting. So it gives a different, different look. So I'm gonna just click, put it in a actual size. Let's go back a bit. Hold on one second. Zoomed out. I put it in actual size. My file right now is 32 inches wide by by like 40 inches so that's I work on a big file I mean that's why it's imperative to have high quality photos working so you can get as much detail out so you can zoom in far and so you can work on a big file big files come in handy for one I mean because um, if you use those effects, which I have used them when I first started doing the mesh, but that was like two years ago. But when you use those effects and you start with a small eight, eight and a half by 11 inch file, and then you blow at the end, you, you know, unlock all your layers and you make the file bigger, you'll have to go back and resize your effects, re rescale them, because they're not going to scale appropriately. They're going to either be too much of an effect, they won't, they won't evenly scale like your picture will. So, just something good to know. 
So we'll work on a big file at first. If you need to make the file smaller for print, do that. But it's good to have a big file to work on. But that's it. The eye tutorial. The eye flowed in well with the face. I might put a, you know, some kind of way I work a glare on the actual eyeball to give it a more of a depth, a feel look to it. But right now, this is what I got. So leave comments, whatever, whatever. I'll be here. Leave me a note. Shoot me an email, whatever. But until next time, signing out.